One more 350 Legend factory load for us to test out here, guys. We have the Hornady 170 grain Spire Point or Soft Point. Uh, this is one that it's going to pack a pretty good wallop, I think. We're going to see if this expands like some of the others did and some of the others didn't. Uh, we're going to find out here in the ballistics gel. So we're going to hit this at 100 yards and 200 yards. And the reason that we can hit pretty accurately at those distances is because of this. CMMJ makes a mean rifle. This is the Resolute. It's just a carbine length. And yeah, this sucker is accurate, wonderful rifle. And on top, the scope is a, um, a TS-6X from US Optics. Uh, this is a really sweet little FFP optic up top here. And uh, let's get down here and go see what we can do. The 170 grain Hornady made a huge wound track through here. This is a good bit wider even than the 458 SOCOM that we're going to be showing here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, this looks like it gets up to a maximum of about one and three quarter inches of, uh, of width going on through here. And then it looks like in addition to the immediate expansion and the gigantic wound channel uh, from the expansion of it, and you can kind of see the, uh, the, the corkscrew going through, that we have this leaf shape. It looks like the bullet started to tumble as it got through here. And it's cutting all the way out to 16 inches, continuing to cut out to maybe about oh, 20 inches or so before it really kind of settles down, goes up, and I was afraid we were going to lose this one, but it's actually in the sand. So hopefully we'll be able to pick out that projectile. Great news, y'all. Yes, the bullet went through 32 inches of gel, but then it stopped immediately in the sandbag. And you can actually see a little bit of the copper poking out right there. We're going to dig this bullet out right now and see what it looks like. There it is. All right, we have a pretty good mushroom going on. It's not much larger than the base of the bullet, but then remember that this one did turn around backwards, so it might have lost a little bit. I suspect, though, that this is just kind of the way it was because I'm seeing, you know, fully curled petals right here. So, yeah, it looks like it doesn't have to have a gigantic mushroom to make a gigantic wound channel. This is a solid performer. Out to 200. At 200 yards, the Hornady isn't bringing quite as much heat as it used to. This one isn't flaring out quite as much as before. We're getting about one inch across uh, on this channel, and then it just continues to cut all the way back through here, through the, uh, the first block, and then it cuts out the side right here on the second block. I think this would have had no trouble cruising through all 32 inches of gel. This does have some pretty devastating sections though. Look at this one right here. As it tumbles through this section, we're getting about a two inch wide uh, cut through there. And you can see from some of the footage where the, uh, the temporary wound channel was looking pretty good. Much like the Winchester soft point, I think this is one that's going to carry a lot of energy through some of your larger game while providing a, a pretty good hit on the inside and tearing things up. We're gonna recover this from the bag and see what we got. The 170 grain Hornady, as you can see, has mushroomed and created some pretty wicked cutting petals. So we're looking at a maximum width, okay, about 3, 0 0.385, 0 0.380, somewhere in there. Let's see how much retained wi uh, weight we have. 168.4, so of the 170 grains, we just lost a tiny bit of copper, or maybe a tiny bit of lead. And that's about it. This has held together very well. And as you can see, those wound channels were looking pretty good. This 200 yard hit actually seems to have opened up more than the 100, which is a little bit odd. 
Okay, well maybe not. It seems maybe just a bit more uniform. It's it's hovering actually right about the same, 380. So this is an excellent, consistent performer. Uh, this is one that seems to be kind of uh, distance neutral, no matter what distance you're at, if you're within you know 100 yards or if you're out at 200. Looks like this one's gonna perform very well. Let's see what kind of retained weight we have. 169.2, so yeah, we have hung on to pretty much all of the weight and have shed none of the jacket or the, uh, the core at all. Yeah, wonderful. How easy is it to make a hit with this? At 3.68 inches, this is the largest group that I shot with any of the ammunition, either hand-loaded or factory. And remember that this is my particular gun. Uh, this might work better in maybe a longer barrel or your particular gun. Uh, you should try this one out for yourself. If you're looking for a load that provides that, that heavier bullet, that heavier hit, one that can punch through bone without any kind of issue, I think that this is going to be uh, the one for you. Either this or that Winchester 180. I recommend that you try both of those. Uh, both of them have similar velocities. This one's a little bit faster. This one's moving out at 2,161 feet per second, standard deviation of 17.08. So this is quite precise when it comes to its velocities. Uh, it's just a little bit stringy in my gun. It, this may change for you. Make sure that you stick around and watch for more videos when they come out. We're going to be testing more 350 Legend loads. We're going to be doing 5.7x28, 6.5 Creedmoor, 243 Winchester. We're going to be testing them in gel. We're going to be testing them on paper. And we might be doing some things like hitting eggs with some of these. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. That's your best shot to be able to see when new videos come out. And thank you to everybody that has made these videos possible. Thank you to especially the patrons of the Destructive Arts out on Patreon that have purchased a lot of the materials that we use, like the ballistics gel uh, that we've been blowing up here. Thanks to Sportsman's Guide and Stan and Mary at the 338 Lapua Magnum level, and Joseph Davis, Mr. No Name, and Peter at the 300 Win Mag level. You guys are making it happen, and if anybody else wants to chip in a buck or two a month to keep videos like these coming, uh, I'll put a link to Patreon here. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the Destructive Arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.